So if you're thinking about going plant-based, it can be hard to know exactly where to start. It's really overwhelming because there is so much to do and so much to learn. So in this video, I want to share with you one of the easiest places to start going plant-based. But before we get started, I'm all about making plant-based easy through recipes and lifestyle tips. So if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you get notified whenever I put out a new video. So one of the easiest ways to start going plant-based and make it a stress-free process is to start by switching out ingredients in recipes that you already love. So in this video, I want to share with you five easy ways that you can start using plant-based meat alternatives in your recipes. So the first vegan meat alternative that I want to talk about is chickpeas. So chickpeas are great because they are so versatile. They work with so many different dishes and they are a great replacement for chicken. So whether you're grinding them up and turning it into a chickpea salad sandwich, or you're making a patty and forming a chickpea cutlet, whatever the case is, there are so many different ways to get creative with chickpeas and start switching meat out of your diet by using this one simple ingredient. And if you're someone who's worried about the cost of going plant-based, chickpeas are great because they are so inexpensive, especially if you're buying dry. So if you're someone who's trying to be budget friendly or you're worried about the cost, chickpeas are a great way to start going plant-based without breaking the bank. And another great vegan meat alternative is lentils. So lentils are also budget friendly and they make a great alternative for ground beef. So lentils like chickpeas are really versatile in what you can do with them. So you can just simply use them in a bolognese, you can make meatballs out of them, you can make hamburger patties out of them. Really, you can get as creative as you like with lentils, but really this is another super easy way for you to start experimenting, to have fun, and to start switching out animal products from your diet. And another vegan meat alternative that's a lot of fun to play around with is jackfruit. So jackfruit is an ideal alternative for pulled pork because it has the same texture, it crisps up really nice, and you can play around with the flavors to get that exact taste that you're really looking for. So really when it comes to jackfruit, there are so many ways that you can get creative and it's a way for you to start getting more plant-based items into your diet. So another vegan meat alternative that's kind of off the beaten path a little bit is tempeh. So like tofu, tempeh is a soy-based product, but it has a completely different taste and texture to it. So tempeh is much firmer, it's crumbly, and it takes savory flavors really well. So there's a lot of different things that you can experiment with this, but personally, I love making chorizo out of tempeh. It's so easy to do, and it's something that really adds a lot of savory kick to your dishes. So if you're someone who loves chorizo, you can really easily make a plant-based version out of tempeh. So the last vegan meat alternative that I want to talk about is tofu. So there are so many ways to get creative with tofu and start veganizing your dishes, but the one way that I want to talk about today is actually making your own sausage with tofu. So tofu is a great base for sausage because you can mold it into the sausage shape and you can flavor it any way you like. So really it's a great way to get creative, especially if you're someone who loves that savory taste. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you get notified whenever I put out a new video. And let me know in the comments which alternative that you're going to try first. And if you're looking for more ways to make plant-based easy, check out my guide, Eight Easy Steps to Starting a Plant-Based Lifestyle and Love It. You can find that in the description and in the comments below, and I will see you next time.